The other way to apply jet stream is to iron it. I recommend to iron it and then to rotocork it. I find it's a better finish and it's faster right out of the gate as compared to ironing which sometimes seem to be skied in. So let me demonstrate how to do that. First thing is to shake that powder onto the ski. That's adequate. I find most people put too much powder on the ski. That's as much as I'd ever put on. Sometimes I put even less on. Um, next thing to do is I have the iron hot. I have this on 300 and I do one good pass from tip to tail. I don't move the iron too slow. I'll show you what the ski looks like after. This is about what we're looking for. This is perhaps a little bit too little, uh, too little heat and that's about right. You don't want the ski to be jet black and you don't want it to be all white and flaky but somewhere in the middle. From here I rotocork it. The reason you don't want it to be too black, I've found that it's slower especially in cold snow. And you don't want it to be too white because you don't get the durability that you might be looking for when you're doing the ironing application method. I would perhaps use this in a 50K as compared to using just the block. But sometimes you just need to test it because sometimes they actually test a little differently. And I find that the block so with straight rotocorking on average is faster. I just wrote a cork blue. You can clean that off by holding it against your leg and using the copper brush to clean it. I like to let the ski cool some so it doesn't get all messy. That's a top-notch application. Let me show you how to finish it. It's the same as with the rotocorking. Take a nylon polishing brush that you're dedicated for fluorocarbon finishing. You need to brush a little harder than you're doing with just the rotocork and without the iron. You have to scrub it. I like the polishing brush because it leaves a touch more wax on than the horsehair brush does. I don't want to take all my jet stream off because unlike the hot wax, jet stream does not go into the base. It stays on the surface. So I like finishing it with the nylon polishing brush. Once you've, once you've loosened up all that stuff, I'll take a couple passes. Use my throne pad and polish it. And that right there is an application fit to win a big race.